Hello everybody, welcome to episode 10 of Minecraft Unobtained. Today guys, I would like to work on the museum because it is quite unfinished. I'd like to add one more exhibit, at least to the new wing here, and... Oh. Hello? Uh, hi. Who are you? Oh, don't mind me. Uh, I'm just the museum curator, yeah. Definitely not here to steal ideas. Ah, right. <laughs> so, uh, could you explain what's going on? I I don't remember hiring anybody to do anything over here. Oh, this is a volunteer position, just like, you know, most museums. Ah, right, 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 right. Yeah, I, I, I found this uh, thing where you can put a glass block next to a chest like this, and then you can place blocks like redstone repeaters right on top. And look at that. That's really it's cool. It's magic. I think a full exhibit for this would be amazing. Um, and honestly, I... Thank you for showing me this, sir. Uh, well, as long as you're any... funding it, that's fine. Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm going to come back when you're done. Okay, okay. I'll keep working. Okay, bye. All right, well, I'm checking out what this uh, bug man character did. And uh, yeah, he did a pretty good job here of laying out these chests. Let's check it out. So we have some redstone on a chest. Yeah, honestly, this is really cool. Oh no, the, the vines grew um, to this side too. Okay, so we have vines on a chest, we have this on a chest. Man, some really interesting stuff going on here. Um, wow. I really <laughs> So, I guess I should try to explain it. So essentially what happens is these chests, if you look at the little black line around them, I don't know how YouTube does the compression on this, but basically they act as like a full block. But since there's still a chest, there's still some weird properties, so... Um, for, for example, the way we do this... Well, you, you saw in the previous clip, but basically, it pretends like, oh, it can't go here, but so it's gonna go here, and this is a full block. But, you know, if you try to place it directly on a chest, it's just gonna open it, because that's the chest functionality. So technically, if, like, there wasn't that, like, I, I could still shift and click, and it'll still open. You see what I mean? So... Um, that's why it works like this. I think it's a pretty cool trick. Uh, these are everything that you can do that's pretty easily accessible. So if you guys want to like pause the video here, let me get like a good view here. Oh, let's see. Right, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You guys can pause the video and do it yourself if you want, if you're in the correct version, which is beta 1.9 pre 4 or 5, pre 4 or 5. So yeah. Um, Anyways, I thought this would be a fun little thing to add to the museum, and I think it really has been. Uh, but guys, I wanted to celebrate episode 10 by doing a bit of a uh, world tour. That's right guys, so this is gonna be our second upload, world upload, and I wanted to give everyone a little bit of a world tour, so people that are joining us um, for, for a new video can get an idea of where everything is located. So. Yeah, we're just going to start right now. Um, we are in the museum. So this is basically the project that I've decided is, um, you know, what I, what I want to do to keep all the unobtainable so that like we can go and check them out. So right here we have these chests that we just added. Uh, we have the pickaxes that we got last episode right here. We have, that's junk. We have uh, spawners down here in like a pseudo dungeon it's pretty cool um man we, there's a lot of stuff that we still gotta add there's a lot of exhibits that we need to add but eventually the idea is that there's this gonna be a big garden slash plaza here like out front and there'll be a grand path entrance and this whole big building with a big giant dome and all sorts of cool stuff it'll look like an awesome museum but right now it's uh <laughs> it's a work in progress uh one thing i want to mention is that uh, people that become members of the channel so you can there's a bunch of different tiers you can do so uh tier two and three uh, i'll put you guys up on these uh front stakes here then eventually if this ever fills up i will set up another room in the museum for like um, museum supporters just as a fun thing but yeah basically you'll get your name uh, what tier you subscribe to and the date that I added it a sign. And yeah, so if you guys are interested in that, you can do that. But uh, please know that I don't 
really like it's it's just a fun thing and that's something that you get if you decide you want to help support the channel at all but please don't feel like you have to or anything because uh I'm just here to make some Minecraft videos, to be honest. But the main base, uh, we decided to actually start it right in this location next to the mountains here and by the ocean. It's a really nice area. And uh, we decided to live in a ravine, which we can see right here. This is where our starter base is and kind of where we're living right now. Uh, it's definitely not looking good, but <laughs> we'll get it there at some point. Uh, so this is a recent project we did, the crop circle. We have a tree farm over there and we're starting to add more and more stuff. I'm planning on building a mansion up there. Uh, as of last episode, I made the plans to do that. So that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, so underneath this log here, we have a mob farm. As you can see, there's some spiders down there. There's some crazy stuff going on. Um, so we built that so that we could get enough XP to enchant pickaxes like this with the uh, fortune and silk touch. Anyways, let's descend into the base. So I'm going to start things off by uh, starting in the storage room. So this is where we're currently keeping all our stuff. It's pretty cramped. I know I'm working on it, um, but it's it's our storage is where we're keeping stuff. Uh, it's where we sleep too. The second project I did in this world was this thing here. It's the sugarcane farm and it's a pretty, <laughs> pretty bad one really. But we get some sugarcane from it, and I occasionally just come up here, grab a bunch of sugarcane, we get 15 to 16 each harvest, and it works really well. All right, and so then I started to decorate this area here, which is kind of the main hub of our base right now, and it looks pretty bad still, so that's something that I'd like to improve the look of soon. We have a little wheat field here, which I have been using to get wheat to feed the cows up there and to make ourselves some food, uh, AKA bread. All right, now over here, we have the entrance to the second ravine, which is where some of our other stuff is, as you can see. But I think first things first, one of the bigger projects we did in the first 10 episodes is this thing here. It is the mob farm. So this obviously was so we can get XP, but we also can get mob drops from it. And uh, yeah, you can see how it works here. We get all the mob drops on right here and i decorated this on twitch.tv slash puffingfishhq so i did that live all right and then the next thing we have outside of this section is of course this second ravine this is the second portion of our base um and yeah it connects right up to next to our storage room right here there's that pathway there's the sugarcane farm right there uh-huh so it hooks up right to here. We have an enchantment room, which can expand into a bigger room. Or if we press the pressure plate, we can get all the books in. And yeah, there you go. Then we of course have this section here, which is perfect for expanding. Then right up here, we have, again, the connection to the mob farm and the first ravine. We will be going down into the grassy section of this ravine based on Etho's famous man cave, which is awesome. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what I want to do with this section yet, but I did this because an enderman put a grass block down. And down here we have a covered up slime farm. Anyways, yeah, we got that. And then we have a pathway over here connecting to yet another ravine. We have a ravine network underground here, which is pretty awesome. I'd like to eventually beautify them all. But yeah, if we go through here, we have this ravine right here, which Whoops, uh, as I said, I haven't done anything with uh, as of now, but it would be really good for uh, probably something coming up here. Yeah, so the nether, I haven't really done a whole lot with yet. I just set up this wall here so we don't fall into the lava, um, but this is what our nether looks like. And I have some really awesome plans for the future when we start messing with the nether, but as of now, this is kind of all I've done. And I've dug out a pathway to an ice biome, which um, I can show you right now. All right, you come out here at the swamp, which I know isn't ideal for a ice biome, but if we get right up here, you can see the snow and you can see the ocean and of course the ice down there. Anyways, that's how the uh, ice works. This is the section that we collected everything from. As you can see, we got a bunch uh, under the ice. <laughs> 
through the mountains we have a mining outpost right here yeah that's right so when I need to get the diamonds and get some more resources I set up this mining outpost here which uh, goes right down into yet another ravine this this world and and me with ravines man uh, it's ravine world I don't know why I call it unobtained it's ravine world as you can see another ravine with a mine shaft no less which we haven't actually explored explored yet but yeah, we have a, a strip mine right going into there, but I, uh, I don't want to go down there right now. There's a bunch of mobs, and I don't need to go mining, so I'm just going to uh, take my exit right now. So that, everybody, is the world tour done. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, <laughs> I appreciate it. And yeah, that's the end of our first 10 episodes on this world. Um, hope you get a good idea of where everything is, but that's going to be it for today. Uh, and next episode, we are going to finally update. Oh yeah, look forward to that, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.